We usually criticize the US for its destructive policies in the Middle East, but its northern neighbor Canada hadn't had better policies during the terrorist war on Syria. One may think that the so-called liberal government of Canada headed by Justin Trudeau may be against the Syrian government for some, you know, fairy tale reasons. But it is almost unbearable to me to see Trudeau, who promotes for diversity in his own country, because it's 2015, is supporting the anti-Assad camp in Syria that mostly consists of radical jihadists. Lately, the Syrian government nominated Mr. Wasim Ramli to become Syria's honorary consul in Canada, although the Global Affairs officials approved Ramli's appointment, but the Foreign Minister of Canada, Ms. Christia Freeland, revoked the status of Syria's honorary consul in Montreal following outrage by the pro-terror camp who claimed that Ramli's social media posts are unacceptable. And what are these posts? Actually, Ramli, just like most Syrians, believe that the white helmets are embedded with Al-Qaeda terrorists and that they fabricate scenes in order to promote foreign intervention and regime change. How dare Ramli support the legitimate government of Syria in its war against terrorism? How dare Ramli believes that the white helmets are the propaganda wing of Al-Qaeda and its sister groups? These are all proven facts. The Canadian government, however, believes in fairy tales, such as, you know, the rebels in Syria are fighting for democracy and human rights, or the white helmets are volunteer heroes, and their only job is to save lives in Syria. Shame on the Canadian government who supports the terrorists in Syria and the Nazis in Ukraine. Shame on any Canadian who is still supporting these regime change wars. Shame on those who are silent and afraid to talk and oppose their governments. These media campaigns against Syrian patriots have become a pattern. They came after me, after Ramli, and many Syrians. They are simply terrorizing us to shut up through mobilizing the idiots and radicals against us, but they won't silence us. We have paid a huge price during this war and we lost a lot, so these campaigns don't really matter for us anymore. We are doing this because we believe in a cause, not for fame or financial benefits. If we wanted money and fame, we would have sided with the other side. Seriana Analysis is an independent news and analysis platform. Please don't hesitate to support the channel through Patreon, an online sponsorship platform that enables me to create more content to you. Link in the description below.